Located at the Volo Auto Museum, we have the four little shavers. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you all the Chuck E. Cheese animatronics that you can find at the Volo Auto Museum in Illinois. So, I am at the um, restaurant section over here. They also have a pirate show from like a theme park or something. But these are the only Chuck E. Cheese animatronics that you can find in this section. And it is the four little shavers from the early 80s. So, basically for context, there were a few Chuck E. Cheese stores um, in Florida that had a ice cream, like, like some sort of like an ice cream parlor section. And in that room, they had these animatronics, which are actually reskins of the Beagles. Which, uh, the Vola actually also does have the Beagles as well. So, I'll give you a close-up look at these characters. Uh-huh. Looks like the pirate stage is opening its curtains. Oh, looks like they're moving. Well... Um, a brief footage of what the show looks like. Um, basically, um, someone in Florida found the uh, four little shavers and the Volo decided to buy them. And now this is where the Beagles used to be, so they moved them in a different place. So now the four little shavers are right over here, which is pretty cool. So that is it for the four little shavers. I'll show you the other Chuck E. Cheese animatronics as we travel through the Volo Auto Museum. So stay tuned. Okay, so here are the beagles. So originally uh, they were positioned um, in the area where the four little shavers are now, but they decided to move the beagles here. And I'll, um, I'll get them working later. And then um, let's look at the king first. Uh, you can't see his face that much, but yeah, here's the king. Now the king was used, um, all these animatronics were used at Chuck E. Cheese stores in the early 80s. And, uh, and the king is probably one of the most popular animatronic characters who's not a Pizza Time player or from Munch's Make Believe Band. There's his feet. And then we have a reskin of the king. Well, a modified version of the king. And it is the King Cat. While the king is a Elvis impersonator, this one is a Michael Jackson impersonator. And... Um, he was made, he was one of the last animatronics made before Chuck E. Cheese's first bankruptcy in 1983, 1984. And you can see instead of playing the guitar, he is trying to hold on to the microphone stand. And, sorry, sorry to say this, but they don't have actual voices. Um, they just basically dub over the songs from the, from the Beatles, Michael Jackson, and Elvis Presley, uh, respectively. So, I'm gonna put in one of these shows in. I have a couple quarters and I'll be able to show footage. Let's start off with the Beagles. Why can't I put the coins in? Why can't I put the coins in? Um, unfortunately, I did not know that these require tokens, so... Um, I had to, I was only able to get two tokens, unfortunately. 
So unfortunately we won't be showing the performance of the Beagles, but I do swear I do have footage of, uh, of the Beagles from a few years ago, so, so maybe I'll show you that uh, first. So now let's start the show with, let's see, King Cat or King? I think I'll start with the King first. And let's watch him perform. Stop what you're doing and take a look. He played at Chuck E. Jesus around the USA from 1982 to 1995. And today he's here for your entertainment. The King of Rock and Roll. Or at least Roll and Rock. Oh, it's like both shows are working. talent and personality. The world's best Elvis impersonator, and he even has his own YouTube channel, The King! What's Jailbird's favorite kind of fun? A I have a bad feeling that I accidentally um, dropped in for both shows. be a pleasant experience if I'm gonna be honest. Might for you but not for me. Ladies and gentlemen, the king has left the building. Enjoy the rest of your visit at the Fuller Museum. Um, the King Show's done, so let's finish off with the King Cat. And since I accidentally uh, dropped in tokens for two shows, I actually can use the last one to play to play the Beagles. Actually, all for you guys. Um, as soon as King Cat is done, and all the air on King is gone. This one's not really I'm in the best shape because this jaw's not moving. And I guess he just aired down before even the song was done. 
I mean, the king works well. King cat, not so much. But let's see if the beagles still work as well as they did uh, a few years ago when I went there. Um, after I'm done with, um, after the music ends. Okay, so, so the show, the audio of the show is officially done now. Uh, uh, pretty soon it will be done. So now I can play the be the Beagles. Uh oh, looks like the king is working again. Or not. I don't know. The Beagles. Hey everyone. So as you can probably tell, so here's the Beagles. They seem to run pretty decently. In America? Yes, money. In America, you have a dog. In Eaton, you have a pound. Hmm. Don't say pound, John. The money can't buy your way out of the pound, John. The best money can't buy. this video does not get copyright blocked. If it does, I'll probably just mute the audio so you can just hear me. I must have turned on, must have turned on uh, the king's air for some reason, but he's not doing anything. Only the beagles are working. Maybe once some of the show's over, maybe I'll fully explain it. King still has air in it. Uh, no idea when it's gonna turn off. But okay, here's here's the weird thing. So you select a show and put a token in. I thought it was a quarter, but apparently um, they're tokens. They have tokens apparently. I normally don't go to the Volo Auto Museum that much compared to their antique mall. Uh, but yeah, so they have like these things, you know, that you like that dial up so you, you could rotate. Like you see that white thing, it, it lets you play the Beagles. And this side lets you play the king cat, and then the right side, the king. And okay, here's kind of weird. I, I I select king, and I put the token in, but not only did it play the king, but it also played the king cat, apparently. So, and then another strange thing is that when I went into like the beagles mode and put a token in for the beagles to play, um, the king's air just turned on all of a sudden. And I'm not so sure if it's going to be, uh, turning off. Weird. Oh, looks like it's turning off. That almost freaked me out for a bit. Oh, it's moving! <laughs> Yeah, his rings. Well, I guess I'll um, do it for this video, um, I guess. Uh, thank you for uh, going with me to the Volo Auto Museum to meet some Chuck E. Cheese animatronics. Some I've never seen in person. So, uh, goodbye everybody.